<laughs> Wait a minute, do that again. No. Oh my God. We need that blooper. <laughs> hey, I wish I had the damn camera on. That would have been a Is great... Is it running now? It's running now, Oh but... boy, well, you missed that one. Yeah, you know it is. It's a good thing. Hey, let me fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's my hair look? <laughs> oh, listen. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm sitting here with um, Kevin. He's uh, uh, another YouTuber, and uh, we've met him here before. This is our second time, right? Second time. Yeah. And uh, his channel is A Typical Hiker. And I'll put it down in the description so you can click on it and get right to his channel. Now, what this video is going to be about is uh, this is uh, not going to be about a shoe. <laughs> Actually, it took me six years to figure out what size shoe I needed to wear. I wore 11 and a half, Kevin, my whole life until I started hiking. Right. And once I started hiking, um, I realized I'm, you know, they claim your foot gets bigger if you... Uh, I've heard that before. I, I don't really buy into that, but it'd be nice if the more you use... Well, you know, you, you exercise, your muscles get bigger, right? So, Maybe your arch falls and your foot leaks out. Whatever. I, I, don't I, I don't really I don't buy know. in all that. But if you could, if you could designate what part of your body would you uh, change, I, I know what part I would change. You do. Yes, sir. When the skinny minute, I don't need but about a eighth of an inch to be taken off my nose. Oh, okay. <laughs> see. <laughs> Because <laughs> when you can see the tip of your nose, know, you, what are you well, thinking, man? You, well, no, you wrong, boy. No, wait a minute now. No, I'm thinking, you know, I'm working on this right here. Yeah, well, we're all working you know, on that. I'm working on that. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, it um, took me six years to figure out what size shoe I wear. Now, I went from 11 and a half to, tw uh, to 12 because I know hiking shoes and boots. I wore uh, darn tough socks and smart wool in REI, they're a lot thicker. So I knew I had to go up uh, at least a half a size. So I went to a size 12 in various Keens and uh, Timberlands and Merles. And I I got by with those for quite a few years, five years or so, because I'm only out on the weekends and, and I'm not prone to get blisters and uh, sprained ankles. That don't, ne I never had, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I twist them, but then I never had an issue with sprained ankles or dirt getting in my shoe and stuff like that. But um, on this uh, last Ju on July, we did a through hike with four other YouTubers. Right here. Yeah, right here. This right is here. one of the camps I stayed at. But what was happening? It took my toes were were banging the front of the shoes and going um, down the hill. Going down, down yeah, yeah, going I know down exactly hill. Exactly what you're talking yeah. about. And actually I after I started paying attention to that, when I was going up uphill, my my heel was my heel was moving around. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, actually you really don't want your foot to move in your shoe. I don't think right. you got that issue, right? Uh, well I use those Birkenstock blue heel inserts oh, in all you? my shoes. Oh, okay. It gives me the arch support and maybe it stops mm -hmm. some of that. But I do get the downhill toes banging in the end of it but i guess it's because i didn't lace them up tight enough mm -hmm. for going down i don't know well i'm okay then you might like this one but anyway i bought these shoes that mike found them they they uh, pronounce it's s-a-u-c-o-n-e and the youtube i mean the uh google says you pronounce it soccer knee <laughs> so so you know anything on youtube is correct right so anyway um they was on sale for thirty nine dollars, so I moved up to twelve and a half, cause I tonight I got on darn tough socks, and I wanted to check out and um, see if I could fix that. Now I also when I got them, I said, boy, these these laces are pretty, so that's pretty long, pretty long. <laughs> that's pretty long. You know that must be a manufacturer's uh, fault. But actually, I found out what what you need to do to keep your foot from moving around in your shoe. And if you notice on these shoes, you see an extra little hole here. Extra eyelet. Yeah. Uh, extra eyelet, that's yeah. right. And um, if you, you know, some people lace into them or whatever, but what they're really for is, um, it's, it's called, the technique is called heel lock or lock lace. And what it does, and I'm going to show you what, what, what you do, and there's other YouTube channels too, but what you would do, you would take, you take this, uh, and you'd make a little, you go in here and you make a little loop. 
See that? Make a little loop like that. And then you go on this side and do the same thing. Make a little loop. Now you got loops on both sides like that. So what you do now, you take this one and you go in here. And you take this one and you go in here. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put my foot in this shoe and then I'm going to reposition it over on that rock and show you how to tighten it up and lock it around your foot and your foot will not move in there and it will not ride forward to any degree. Okay, so let me put it on and I'll meet you at the right. Point down here and let me show you. Good, good. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I, got, yeah, I got a good view of it. All right, here we go. So we're going to lift these up like this here. All right, now, shouldn't be this hard, but anyway, once you get that, you don't want to pull up, you pull it down like that. And that now time off regular. And they're not so long anymore. Well, that's one thing. They, they're still a little long, but these are not really good for lacing. But what I'm saying is that, see my foot is, see I got plenty mm -hmm. of room. In fact, I might go back to a 12. That's just what I'm trying to figure out. See, see, I can't even slide my foot forward. You follow me? Okay. And, and my heel, see, I can't move my heel around. Okay, you can come back up to no me. No idea. So that was it. That was the video I wanted to do on a heel lock. But there's many other videos. Some of them got nicer shoes. They tie up and pull them down and lock them in. Anyway, thanks for watching.